Okay, so for everybody that I asked today about why, um, about how many pets you have and what type of pets, I'm using my broken phone, so the camera quality ain't that good, but that's because my new phone is charging. Um, I wanted to give you guys, first off, this is my pet feeding station. That's one of my cats. He's a bit big. That's one of the reasons why we have that bowl right there. Um, and I definitely don't like those, but I'm out of the house a lot, so I have to use those sometimes. Um, and I'm going to be picking this up, don't worry. Don't really like these, but this is why I'm in, why I'm talking to you guys today. All right, so this thing right here is called the Oxdoard. It's a water feeder, okay? Cool thing about it is a couple cool things. Actually, number one, it's got um, an LED light with an indicator of how much water is in there, and it's got a three-liter capacity. Now, the interesting thing is if you look right here, you're going to see a hole and another hole. Those are drainage holes. That's the recess that the water goes out. The water doesn't come down here, it comes up on this one, okay? And it goes down those to prevent overflowing. Um, and it's got a built-in food bowl, okay? Um, the water actually does, what the, what the advantage to this is, is it's got a filter inside. Uh, hold on, let's see what I can, if I can get it on. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a filter inside, which by the way, that's the charcoal pieces, and now I have to clean that out. Um, it was a brand new filter, so you would expect that. I just thought I cleaned it all out before. Um, when you lift it up, that's the filter right there. All the water passes through that, right? You can also control the speed on the motor, which is what's built, what's under here, to go fast or slow as to what you want to speeds of the fountain to be. Uh, the fountain will then refill and it refills pretty quickly, comes out of here and comes out of here. Well, a little bit. But this is a recess, this is a recess and this is light and it's also a recess, okay? Um, it's pretty interesting. It holds, it's got a measured food bowl, holds eight uh, quarts or 800 grams of water or of a uh, well, it could hold 800 grams of water, uh, or fluid ounces, I mean, but 800 grams of food. I currently have 500 in there right now. Uh, my kitten's wondering what I'm doing. But this is a pretty good deal. It's pretty good, and I think it's uh, about $24, okay? And he likes it. Hey, he likes it. See? See? You got other cats, too. Um, he's wondering, what are you doing with my fountain? This is actually his fountain. This fountain goes to the other cats, but this is actually his fountain. And he's wondering, like, what the hell are you doing with my fountain? <laughs> but all in all, the, what I like about it, honestly, um, having these fountains, the idea of fountains, period, but especially this one, is that it leaves, a uh, today, I live in Colorado. Today was hot. I mean, it probably got in the 90s today. And I'm from New York, so that's hot for me. And I have confidence that the fact... And because this is aerated, it doesn't get really hot, the water. It actually stays a little bit colder than room temperature because it's aerated. So, the days where I'm working, or I'm out of the house all day or something, it actually, it actually does really good. And it actually keeps the water cold enough for them to want to be enticed to drink it. Plus, the fact that it's moving, they're enticed to drink it. So I actually really, really like that a lot. And uh, so I would, I would go ahead and say, I'm going to put a link in the description to this video. And for those of you who see it on my YouTube post, or my, uh, Facebook post. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link you guys to where you can get it. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to link you guys to another, a better in-depth review. And you guys can decide for yourselves. If you don't get this one, at least get some sort of pet fountain. Um, 
it just the benefits of it is they drink a lot more. It's a lot um, better on their kidneys to drink more if you feed a primarily based or a dry based diet. And I do. I do feed two cans of wet in the morning. No, I feed one can of wet in the morning, one at night to each of them. Sometimes they don't consume all of them. Sometimes they want more wet food at the end of it. But um, I do have to feed dry during the day. And this has my confidence in the fact that because dry food actually extracts moisture out of their bodies that they're just going to get it back because they drink a whole lot more. They drink a whole lot more um, water when it's free-flowing and filtered. Peace. So I can comment about later. Deuces.